Okay, this video is going to show you how to uh, make your VEX robot wait for a bump on the bump sensor before proceeding with the rest of the program. So, right now, I'm just open up a new program. Okay, there's nothing I've done yet. Notice over on my menu, I need to have um, some more options. So, up here, what says L1, L2, and professional, I'm going to click on professional. See, the main thing that appeared is the user functions. So, I'm going to create a new user function. So the way I do that is I right click on user functions and hit add new function. I'm going to give it a name. So I'll put wait for bump. Everything else can stay the same. I'll hit OK. It opens up a new window. It will now be my user function. <coughs> First thing I need to do is set my variables. I'm only going to have one variable here. The way I get that open is I double click on this little uh, variables icon. And under type, when I click there, I'll get this little drop down menu. I'm going to pick my third option, unsigned character. And under name, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to put bumper. Under value, I'm going to put one. And under comment, you don't have to put a comment, but I'm going to put the bumper. Okay. Now I'm going to create a while loop. So in between my variables and end, I'm going to come up here to my program flow. I'm going to click on while loop and drag it in between there. And I'm going to say while bumper double equal signs one. And hit OK. So when my bumper is at one, okay, which means it's not being pushed. Okay, it's going to do what's in here. Once it's pushed, it's going to go to the end, and then you'll see where that'll take us when we put this into the program. <coughs> so in here, I'm going to tell it to check the digital input. So I'm going to um, expand my inputs menu here, grab digital input, and drop it in here. Now, you have to know what port which um, input your bump sensor is plugged into. In my case it's on 6. I'm going to have that retrieved to the bumper and um, this is where I'm going to add a comment. So I'll put bumper in port 6. And after that I'm going to tell it to wait. So I just want it to wait a small amount of time so I'm going to drag this weight over here, and I'm going to tell it to wait for 50 milliseconds. Okay. So, um, do a slow uh, loop. Okay. And now I'm going to tell it <coughs> that once it's pushed, to continue on with the rest of the program. But, if I have to get my finger in there to push the button, okay, I don't want it to start moving right away. I might want it to wait a second before it starts to move after the button's pushed. So I'm going to put another weight down here. I'll just leave it at one second. You can make it a half second if you want. Um, maybe I'll do 500 milliseconds, half a second. Okay, so um, wait half a second. You don't have to put these comments in. I like to do that. And now, when I close this, I can start working on my regular program. So I have to decide what I want my program to do. So I'm going to drag out my user function first. Wait for bump. I'll tell it to wait for bump. And then after this, I'm going to put the rest of my program. So whatever I want it to do. So if I want it to go forward, I'll tell it motor module forward. I need to know where my motors are. So mine are on two and three. So motor two. And then motor three. You have to know which directions your motors are going to spin to make your power about go forward. And then maybe I want it to stop after so many seconds. So I'll do my program flow. Wait. Move forward for maybe five seconds, 500 milliseconds. 
and I'm going to tell it to stop the motors. <coughs> so I just created a basic program. It's going to wait for the bump sensor. Once the bump sensor is pushed, it's going to go forward for five seconds and then stop. 